my rival at work asked me out on a date. She was serious. I mean, seriously? I'm 29, a senior marketing executive. I've been with the company for six years. Lana, the rising star, joined two years ago and quickly became my professional competition. Our brainstorming sessions were legendary e-heated arguments, clashing ideas, but undeniably productive. One late night at the office, she handed me a letter instead of a report. Plains expressing admiration, both professionally and personally, an invitation to dinner, we went. It was strangely harmonious conversations flowing effortlessly. There's a twist. The next day at work, she announced her transfer to our London office. I wanted to know you without the competition, she said, so I asked for a transfer. But first, I had to know if there was something real here. My assistant is in love with me, but not in the way you think. All right, hear me out. I'm 35, the CEO of a tech startup. I've always been laser-focused on my career. Sophie, fresh out of college, became my assistant, bright, talented, and enthusiastic. The little gifts started appearing on my desk, books, trinkets, handwritten notes. The notes spoke of inspiration and admiration. One day, I found a letter. Sophie wrote about how I had inspired her, not as a romantic interest, but as a role model. She saw in me the woman she wanted to become professionally. The twist? Sophie wasn't looking for a relationship. She was looking for a mentor, and she had been accepted to an Ivy League MBA program. The gifts. They were thank you notes for pushing her to dream bigger. I thought the HR manager was investigating me. Turns out she was courting me. Can you believe it? I'm 32, an events manager. I've organized some of the biggest corporate events in the city. Lately, Amelia from HR had been calling me into her office frequently questioning my decisions, my team, my methods. I was on edge, convinced my job was on the line. One evening, instead of a meeting agenda, she handed me a bouquet and an envelope. It contained tickets to a Broadway show. She admitted her fascination. The meetings, they were just excuses to spend time together. The twist, Amelia had already tendered her resignation. She wasn't breaching any professional boundaries. She wanted to start afresh, hopefully, with me by her side.